All right, we're going to take a look at slopes that equal zero or that are undefined. But before we get into that, let's make special note here that any two points on a line can be chosen as your um, x sub 1, x or y sub 1, or as your x sub 2, y sub 2. Um, it doesn't matter if you've got three or four different points on that line that you've uh, that cross an actual even or whole number uh, in the coordinate uh, you can use that it doesn't have to be any specific one uh, but what is important is that the coordinates of both the points be used in the same order so when you have it in your slope uh, formula uh, you want to make sure that you're not mixing up your X's and your Y's. So let's take a look at that. Uh, find the slope of the line that passes through the points A and B, where A is negative 3, 4, and B is 2, 4. And we have a little graph there showing um, that line and those coordinates. So we've got our formula here for finding slope, or m. Let's take a look and assign uh, different coordinates. Uh, we'll have negative 3, 4 be our x sub 1 and y sub 1. And we'll have 2, 4 be our x sub 2, y sub 2. And let's plug that into the formula. So we'll end up with 4 minus 4, and we'll have 2 minus a negative 3. When we do that subtraction out, we end up with uh, m equals 0 over 5. And when you do that, basically, when you divide anything uh, or divide 0 by anything, you're going to end up with 0. So in this case, m, or slope, is equal to 0. Now, this is also true of any horizontal line okay obviously a horizontal line it's going straight across the horizon and there is no slope it's not going up it's not going down it's just going straight across so the slope is zero let's take a look at another example find the slope of the line that passes through the points a and b where a is one three and b is one zero so we take a look at our graph on the left-hand side, and we can see our vertical line uh, at those points. Let's take a look at our formula for slope. Let's start assigning coordinates to our uh, sub. Uh, so we'll have 1, 3 be our x sub 1 and y sub 1. We'll have 1, 0 be x sub 2, y sub 2, and we'll plug that into the formula, and we end up with 0 minus 3 and 1 minus 1. When we do that subtraction out, we end up with uh, negative 3 over 0. Now, because we can't divide something by 0, uh, we say that the slope is undefined. All right, we just can't tell what the slope is because uh, we can't divide something by zero. And this would be true of all vertical lines in a graph. If you ever have a straight up and down, then you say that the slope is undefined. If you have a horizontal line, then you say that slope is equal to zero.